I was invited to participate mm. and then the letter came to say um, for the artist to pick the station that they were most interested in. And Catherine and I had spoken at one point. Um, she knew some of my personal story was that um, I was going dealing with a situation with aged parents and um, I just said to Catherine, it has to be station, uh, station number four, Jesus meets his mother. It was so timely, Don, because I was going, I had been for many years dealing with a, uh, with a mother with dementia, which is um, a, a thing that so many people are dealing with at, at this moment at, in time, in history. And um, I just felt that that was where my heart could could go. That's where I wanted to go, I think. That resonance of wanting to deal with the personal, but actually then go out more to the bigger story. So I just started and, and what started coming up was in initially, uh, you can see by the work behind me, is um, the actual structure of the work had a cross sensation going through it and on with two panels at either side and a small panel at top and bottom making a symbol of the cross. And one day I went down to visit my mum and I was just sitting with her, um, which you can do quite beautifully with people with dementia. You can just sit and the, she's so gracious and it was such a lovely afternoon and I was just sitting with her and her hand clasped in mine and I went, aha. This is my mum, but it's, it can be other people's mum. And that's where I wanted it to go. I didn't want it to just be about me because I wanted it to go out beyond that. I didn't want it a portrait of my mum per se. And so I came home and thought that's, that's, uh, uh, that's something I want to hang this on. And um, then I went back and took photos of her hand in my hand, which is a, a panel down the bottom. So I thought the position that I can talk about this for me is from the daughter to the mother and then a mother to a daughter sense. And I just, it just unfolded from there. And the images that I've used on the side panel, I was thinking about the journey that we have of, uh, on this earth in a binary sense from birth to death. Um, and that brings in that notion of being, being given life by your mother, born, and um, then that idea of being in this whole big story. And it is a big story, so very difficult to just do in one image. But while I was doing the whole painting, I was um, going through a whole lot of feelings inside myself and finding a kind of a peace somehow. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. It was helping me, it was helping me with this journey that I'm dealing with, with my mum. And so I went quite through a bit of sadness and a sense of loss, but also a sense of comfort. And um, so found compassion for myself in a way. I didn't push myself so hard. I was allowing myself to be a little bit more relaxed and settled with the idea. The images down the bottom, I was thinking in the context of um, the Christian Pieta is very, um, there's, a, there's the compassion and soft empathy and there was a sense for me that I wanted to come right down into a sort of almost a primordial based level of, of could almost hear this, this figure howling and it's a, an image from an artist called Kathy Colwitz who was working around wartime, she's a German artist and did an awful lot of works about um, death and dying around all that wartime. And this was an image she actually posed for herself in front of the mirror with her son. He was seven at the time, he wasn't dead, he was she modelling for her. And I just thought that is the image I wanted to have down there. So I feel like I've been painting Stations of the Cross for a, many years. <laughs> I think I go in and out of it and I think that's why it resonates so well or so powerfully because I think it is part of the human journey. I think we, we all fall, we all get up, we are all levelled, we take the, the wind's taken out of our sails, the life, the, you know, slings and arrows of life hit us all the time.